Let's move on, shall we? Of course, Excel is not just some selection program or just one big expensive selection tool, so let's go and uh, add some text to a cell. What we can do here is two things. We can go to the formula bar and just as, as I show you, showed you earlier, I can just type in text and it shows up in the cell. Now what I can do as well is I'll select another cell. Um, I can just stand on the cell, double click and this you go as if in the cell. You see that the cell has a cursor in it so we can type as well in this cell and enter confirms the text you've just typed and Excel goes to the cell right beneath it and this is the two ways you can edit or add sorry add text to a cell I'll come to the pros and cons on these two options in a minute um, if you want to edit the text you can do the same thing just double click and you go into the cell again and you can edit the text or you could hope or you could stand on the cell go to the formula formula bar and remove whatever or add whatever you want enter and it's done that's about editing and adding text to a cell. Now if I want to delete this and here's, here comes the tricky part if I want to delete I can just go to the cell and while I'm standing on it go type again. Notice how the text will replace all the information that's in that cell at that moment. Now this is the, the pro and the con where I talked about earlier. If you go stand on a cell and you just type you over, you've over you overwritten it. So if you want to be sure that you're not standardly that you're not automatically overwrite the information in the cell always use the formula bar. If you can't trust yourself or something like that just use the formula bar to add additional text to the cell because if you work like in the field you can do stuff like this overwrite the whole thing now we don't want to do that if we have spent a lot of time um, editing these cells with information that might be quite long for instance like a whole text like a whole page of text now another way to delete the contents of a cell is just hit the delete key on your keyboard and the information is read so let's say you want to make a pretty header for your worksheet uh, because this is your personal finance file and if you type in personal finance in this cell you'll see that it are two different cells and if I click on the one and on the other one you see that this does not correspond to value that I just entered so if you want to pretty this a little bit up so it's like big and um, in one cell and you can edit it at any time there's a function in Excel that's called join cells merge and center it's called I'm sorry if I click this button what Excel does is the group of cells I selected is going to be represented as one cell you see the big black border around the cells that's indicating that it's one cell and he treats it as one cell and I can do everything I want on this cell. I can make the text bold and I can make it bigger and I can change the type to something different. Let's see, I can make it like this. 
Oops, that's a little bit too big. I'll resize it a little bit more like this. Well, you can go and join some more cells. Just do this function a little bit more and you'll understand it. So now I've made my header. can make it a little bit bigger now. So that's how you merge and center cells. You can do this on any bunch of cells. You can do it as much as you want on this service as well. It becomes one cell and it's really handy, you can see, for grouping content. Now, remember, this is not some text box you've maybe uh, comfortable, com comfortable with in Word or any other word pro processor. Microsoft Excel is not a word processor. It's a spreadsheet program and it's meant that you don't add too much text to one cell at one. And that's about the end of lesson one of this Excel basics tutorial series. Um, I hope you understand everything I teach to you. If not, leave a message somewhere and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Be sure to stay tuned for more lessons on how to work with this pretty powerful app from Microsoft. You'll be amazed by what it can do for you. Oh, and uh, check out the uh, educational channel for more videos and more series about other interesting programs like Photoshop, Mac OS X, um, Word, and well, at least we're planning to do 